Hello, my name is Daniel and welcome to Tech Tech. Today we're going on a two lane carriageway to see how Navigate on Autopilot copes. So we're just coming up to the M50 now, um, which is a two lane uh, carriageway. Um, it's technically classed as a motorway, but it has two lanes. As soon as we get on, um, we'll stick the car into uh, navigate on autopilot um, and we will see how the, the car copes going all the way down to the M5 um, just driving itself. We're just coming off now to go on to the M50. Not sure if navigate on autopilot will work for this first part because there is roadworks so I'm going to have to manually merge in with the traffic there we go now if you're wondering what navigate on autopilot is it is part of the um the extra, the extra autopilot package that you you can purchase or you don't have to purchase um if you don't purchase uh, the package that tesla offer then you don't get navigate on autopilot um which is the more advanced technology that they um that they have so we're now coming up to the end of the roadworks. I'm just gonna come in now to the slower lane and I'm gonna put navigate on autopilot on. I am going to set it to the 70 miles an hour that it's saying we can do. It's now deciding to go into the other lane. So we're gonna do exactly what it says today um, and whatever it wants to do, we're going to do. Um, where it's safe to do so. So as you can see now it's in the fast lane doing 70 miles an hour. Happy, I'm not touching any of the controls here. Um, the only thing I will have to do is slightly adjust the, the steering wheel every now and then. It's now making us want to go in this slower lane but I can see, if you can see ahead there's a, there's a lorry and we're going to be quite quickly faster than that so I'm going to ignore that one. Um, as you can see, we're now overtaking that that car, so there would have been no no purpose for us to to move across into that lane. I do have an Audi quite close behind me, so I will, as soon as we get past this lorry, come across, and then at that point, I leave autopilot to decide on what I want to do. So, in fact, it's actually told me to come across. Okay, I pulled too hard on the steering wheel then, so it, it, it's come off, but I'll put it back on. We're also dealing with the rain today, so Autopilot does have rain and heavy wind. Um, it's quite windy out there today, so it'd be interesting to see how that affects our Autopilot. Um, as you can see, it's not doing too bad for a two-lane motorway. Um, the only issue that you will find when you're on these types of roads is the cars in the faster lane are going a lot faster than 70 miles an hour. So often it will try and pull you across into the fast lane and you'll have quite a lot of cars behind you, up, up, right, up your, um, right up behind you, um, trying to make you go faster. But when it's clear, there we go, so we've just actually had a poor weather detective. Navigate on autopilot is unavailable. So it's actually turned itself off because of the poor weather conditions that we have right now. Although I don't see it as that bad, it's only light rain and heavy wind. I'll see if I can put it back on. No, it's it's not it's not liking it, it's it's on. So that's a bit of a shame that we're now just in autopilot. We're not it's not navigating us on autopilot. However, it's still doing what it was doing before. It's just not going to now tell us um, what lane it should be in, and it won't try and move us into different lanes. So I'm going to come across now. So as you can see, it wouldn't have told us to come over there because navigate on autopilot is now turned off. So as you can see, with these type types of technologies, they're great when it's sunny and it's clear and it doesn't doesn't have any bad weather but as soon as it starts raining like it is right now we've got a bit of heavy wind 
all the functionality turns off and, and you're just sat in Navigate on um, autopilot. Well, you're just sat in autopilot, which is fine, it still does the job. Um, but for, for this car to be a fully autonomous car, they're gonna have to get through those hurdles and figure out how they can continue with the technology, even in bad weather conditions like a little bit of rain that we have right now. Hopefully the rain stops at some point and Navigate on Autopilot becomes available again, but I'm not sure if this is off now until we reset the car. I can now come over into the fast lane, but again, this is me now moving into the other lane um, and not the car deciding in what, what lane it should be in. Um, hopefully, you can see a bit of sun coming out here, so let's fingers crossed it does stop. Oh, the car is braking for some reason. I don't know why. Uh, I'm going to turn off navigating autopilot. So, as you can see, it's not really working in these conditions. We're not even in, I would say, bad weather. It's The car can be very temperamental and decides when it wants to work and when it doesn't want to work. Um, so at this point in time, we're still at the point where it needs human interaction. Um, it, it physically cannot drive itself at any point now. Um, and I know Elon is saying that he thinks by the end of the year, we'll be in a much more advanced autopilot. But as I'm sat here right now today, with the conditions that we have, which is pretty poor to be honest it's light rain with a bit of wind it's it's physically not going to be possible in my eyes unless they bring out some amazing technology that counteracts the wind or takes the wind and the rain into consideration um, and allows the car to drive safely without any without any issues what I'm going to do now is go back down onto the M50. And we'll go back up the other way and see if it comes back on or if it's completely off. Okay, so I'll just come and sit behind this car now. Put Navigate, uh, oh, autopilot back on. They're pulling over at the last minute, so the car didn't like that. Um, let's see if Navigate on Autopilot will work now. No, it still says poor weather detected. Navigate on Autopilot is unavailable. Um, and, and there we go. So the, the weather conditions has actually got a little bit better. Um, the rain has stopped. And Autopilot, Navigate on Autopilot now has been engaged. So we... We're now, as you can see, the car is now wanting to change lanes and it's now choosing what lane it wants to go in. The rain is still coming down, so it'll be interesting to see when this turns off again and whether the rain is actually an effect of it. Now it wants us to come over in the slow lane. So the technology is doing what it needs to do. It's, it's overtaking cars, it's coming back over into the slow lane uh, when there's no cars in, in the slow lane and then it continues its route. Not too sure what's going on today. Um, the, lane, the rain is really light, but Navigate on Autopilot has turned off. I'm not sure if it's, it's picking up the wind that's blowing against the car. Um, and, and putting that into consideration to whether or not turn autopilot, um, navigate on autopilot off. But unfortunately today, for some reason, it's just not liking the weather conditions. So I don't know if you can hear that, but the wind is really howling at the car, especially in this direction. But navigate on autopilot still on. So it's really interesting to, it'd be interesting to know what elements of the weather turn off Navigate on Autopilot. And there we go, it's turned off again. So, yeah, 
it's it's really strange how this is turning off. So that is a Tesla Model 3 on a two-lane carriageway in Navigate on Autopilot. If you did enjoy this video, give it a big thumbs up. And if you are new around here, why not consider subscribing as we have plenty more videos on electric vehicles, autonomy and consumer tech. Thank you for watching and I'll see you in the next video.